What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Underground Growers. I'm still your main vein, Iceberg Skin. In this episode, I'm going to be pretty much doing an update on this plant that I have in flower. The last of this strand, Waiting Cake Triple OG. Like I said, it's the last of this strand, the last time I'll be growing this strand, and this is the last plant of its strand. And in a past episode uh, video, I showed you how to use a trellis net on just one plant. The reason I, well, I gave you reasons in that past episode of why I used a trellis net on just this one plant. So if you wanna check that out, go to my past uh, video on how to use a trellis net on just one plant. And I'll show you, I'll tell you the reasons why I used a trellis net on just this one plant. But in this episode, I'm gonna be just a basic update on how this plant is doing, how it's looking um, in this in this trellis net. So, like I said, she's about four weeks into flower, so I have about four to five weeks to go before I harvest this plant. Um, getting ready to start some blueberry zookies, so I'm gonna discontinue this strand, making room for these blueberry zookies that I have. Uh, coming in the future so and we'll get to that I'll show you how that's coming along later in this video but right now um, I just wanted to show you how this plant is doing how she's looking how she's handling um, this trellis net what she's looking like in this time of flower so as you can see she's she you can't smell her but she smells really good she's starting to get her smell in Turps are starting to come in, a little frosty look, still white hair, so she's early or in mid flower, so still got a while to go. So I'll be going ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and start, you know, ducking these under this trellis net, making sure they stand down and adjusted properly, so. Yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to keep a flat surface here so my light can get down into my canopy and help to grow these lower nodes. Uh, it's been in this trellis net for maybe about a week or two now, so it was time to adjust her a little more because she's starting to grow up out of this trellis net. So every now and again, you have to come in and readdress, readjust your limbs to keep them down. So I'll be doing some adjusting to her. Let you see how I'm doing that. Just taking these branches and just kind of ducking them under so I can get more light to my canopy. And you'll have to do this um, periodically just to make sure you're still getting light down into your canopy. As I showed you before, I'll just take the net place it up under the pot to hold it down. But yeah, this is how she's looking, um, like I said, four weeks into flower. She's looking good, um, smelling good. I've grown it before, harvested before, and she's, it's a pretty nice smoke up out, you get up out of this plant. So that's what I'll be doing here, just basically keeping these limbs tucked under. And I like to keep it level, everything straight across, not too many branches protruding over the other. So I'm gonna tighten up my net 
place it under pot to hold. Like I said in the past episode, I'm not a big fan of trellis nets. I'm uh, really hands-on with my plants. I like to get in there and do what needs to be done to them. I didn't do much defoliation on this plant. I'm just gonna just let her grow. Um, she's pretty much growing alone. So I wasn't in need of much space, so I was able to let her just grow out full, leave a lot of fan leaves on. So I didn't have to worry about it taking up too much space. She's pretty much in a tent by herself. She's looking good. As you can see, I will be continuously updating you on how this plant is doing up until harvest. So as you can see, um, Get down there in the middle, if you can see that. Across the inside of the plant. See down here, everything has a chance to grow up and catch up. It's not harming the plant. Uh, it's not really slowing down the growth at all. And she's just able to grow. Be full. Trying to get as much out of this plant as I can because it's the last of its kind and I won't be growing anymore. So I figured let's get as much as we can out of her. Um, but yeah, this is that wedding cake triple OG, one trellis net, four weeks into flower. She's looking healthy. You can see, I can get look down into my canopy and see all the way to the soil. So I will be just adjusting these limbs to where I'm able to get as much light down into the bottom of my canopy and amongst all the other lower nodes, branches, Not much left to do to this plant besides, you know, water her and periodically adjust my branches so it's not so it's not stopping light from getting to the lower parts of my plant. I won't do too much defoliation. I'll come in and take off fan leaves as needed. Uh, selective defoliation, taking off just these fan leaves as needed. Um, if they're blocking sunlight or light from getting to my lower nodes, I'll take those fan leaves off. But I haven't done as much defoliation as I have done in the past. Usually I do some defoliation just because um, I have a lot of plants and for a room and airflow and light. Like I said, this plant is growing in flower alone. So there was no need for me to do much to foliate. Uh, not gonna spend too much more time, not too much more to talk about with this plant. Pretty much when I get to flower, it's not much more you do to the plant, but just let her grow. But I will, later in this video, be taking you to my veg tent. And we'll discuss what's going on in my veg tent. Uh, my veg tent, I have some UG plants uh, from strands that I created. And I got those growing in one gallon pots. And for the first time, I believe that I'm going to actually flower uh, the plants that I have in veg in those one gallon pots. I think I'm going to go ahead and just 
see how things work out without update um, upgrading them into bigger pots. I think I'm going to keep them in those one gallon pots and just grow them out from there. But we'll discuss that later in the video. Just want you to get a good look at how this plant is doing, how she's maintaining, how I'm maintaining her. As you can see, she's doing good. So, not much more to talk about on this last waiting case triple OG plant. I had a few, I had a few more uh, waiting case triple OG plants that were in flower. I will be showing you some pictures of those, but didn't turn out too good. The insects pretty much took out that whole grow. So I'm going to show you how the spider mites and thrips um, ruined that grow. Totally ruined that grow. Before I could actually treat them and help them, they were too far and gone. Badly infected with termites. I mean with um, insects before I could save them. So I had to take a loss on that one. That's why I'm babying this, um, this plant here. It's the last of its kind. I'm pretty much babying her and making sure she has no problems or issues throughout the rest of her growth. I want this to turn out as good as I can make it turn out. So yeah, that's it. On this on this plant, when cake triple OG, four weeks into flower, and I'll like I said, I'll be keeping you updated on how she's growing, how she's looking. It's looking good, smelling good. So without further ado, we'll take a closer look at this plant, and then I'll take you to my my best tent. See, she still has um, white hairs. Um, she's still pretty much early uh, flower, mid flower. So she's starting to get little amber colors in, starting to come in. See those terpenes starting to build up, little frosty looks on them. So she's coming along fine. Uh, chemical deficiencies I had to treat. You definitely want to get these treated before you go into flower, but you will come into little issues in flower that you have to correct and fix those problems. So all in all, she's looking good. I'm, I'm happy with the way things are going, the way things are looking. At this point, I'll continue to give her nutrients up until the last maybe two to three weeks of her uh, growth cycle, flower cycle, and then I'll just be giving her straight water flush her out and just gonna just give her water from there. So yeah, that's how she's looking at this point and I will keep you updated with this plant's growth. So stay tuned. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and check out 
my veg tent. Okay, now we're out here in my veg tent. I have six plants from a strand that I created called UG. But these plants were uh, infested with thrips and spider mites. And I treated them with mammoth and they're starting to bounce back. Um, I've been look, checking these plants periodically over the past week, uh, making sure that the insects were gone. And I can honestly say that I got, the mammoth got rid of all of the insects, the spider mites and the thrips that were on these plants and in the soil. So I treated the soil, I treated the plants about a week ago. And if you wanna look into that, I have a past video of how they were looking. I showed you the spider mites and the thrips on the plants. And now I'm showing you that the thrips and the spider mites are gone. So I'm pretty much updating you on how that mammoth worked for these plants. So I'm gonna keep these plants in veg for another week before I flower them. Usually I, I veg my plants for two months. But because I want to run this strand here, which is the blueberry zookies, I'm going to go ahead and just veg these for one month instead of two. Like I said, I usually veg my plants for two months. But because I'm going to stop with the Wedding K Triple OG strand and these UG strands that I'm, that I'm growing are usually just filler plants until I get to where... I'm cloning my blueberry zookies. So this plant here is maybe a week old. So I think in about, by the time these are done, I can go ahead and fill my tents with the blueberry zookies and start growing the blueberry zookies. So these plants in another week, these plants will be uh, four weeks into veg. And then I'll just go ahead and flip them to flower. Now, one thing I've never done was flower my plants in one gallon pots. But in this grow, I'm going to go ahead, leave these plants in one gallon pots and grow them in flower. So this is a first for me, growing plants in flower in one gallon pots. Like I said, these plants are about four weeks old, uh, a month old, and I usually go two months. And in that second month, I would upgrade the pots to two, three gallon pots. But because I want this strand uh, or these plants pretty much gone so I can start my blueberry zookies, I'm going to go ahead and just flower them for me, uh, veg them for one month in these one gallon pots, flower them for two months, and then harvest them. And uh, that will give me time to grow my blueberry zookies for about three months. So I wanna have my blueberry zookies and veg for about three months. So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, leave these in one gallon pots. I'm just gonna veg them for one month I'm gonna flower them for two months. And by the time these are done, this will be ready, the blueberry zuki will be ready to clone and the mother plant will be ready to go into flower. So I got it pretty much planned and calculated out how I wanna go about growing these plants. And as you can see, I uh, haven't done most of the foliation. I haven't done any low stress training on them. I have done some topping on these plants and I won't top them again. I just topped them one time. So no more topping. Uh, I might do a little defoliation on them. Um, I didn't want to just cut all my fan leaves off because like I said, I, they were being treated for those insects. So I'm going to let it pretty much bounce back and heal for another week before I flip them into flower. So stay tuned because I will be posting videos on how these plants are doing with being grown in one gallon pots. 
through flower. It's something I've never done before. This will be a first for me. I'm growing plants in one gallon pots, but I'm gonna find out how that's gonna turn out as well as you guys. So we'll all find out at the same time how a grow goes in flower with one gallon pots. I don't expect um, too big of a yield, but that's okay. I'll be using um, these plants to maybe make some edibles with, do some cooking with. So I'll be making videos of making those edibles and butter and oil or whatever I decide to do with these plants. So that's going, these plants are going to go towards making edibles and cooking products while I get my uh, blueberry zookies ready to take over for the next year. Yeah, I just want to update you. Let's get a closer look on how these plants are doing. Like I said before, if you haven't seen the past video of these plants being infected with uh, thrips and spider mites, you can check out my past video. And you can see that, you know, they are bouncing back from that. Nothing's crawling around on any of these plants. I showed you before, I've gotten rid of all of my, all of those problems. Thanks to the mammoth. So yeah, this is just an update. Still looking kind of funky, but they are bouncing back. I can tell uh, that they're bouncing back. If you watch my past videos, you'll see that they are bouncing back. Getting lovely. Blueberry Zookies to come. Gonna grow this and veg for three months. After three months, I'm gonna take my clones, flip her in the flower, and fill this tent up with clones. This is a two by four Gorilla Grow tent. Here's my light. Everything's looking good. Looking better than the past week or two when they were infested, but yeah. So they're looking now. So stay tuned, stay posted, like, subscribe, so you can see. If you if you have never flowered a plant or grown a plant and flower in one gallon pots, you want to know the results. Here it is. I'm gonna keep you posted. I'm gonna keep you updated on how these plants are doing, how that grow goes in these one gallon pots. UG plants, one gallon pots throughout the entire grow. Can it be done? How will it turn out? We'll find out. I wanna thank y'all for watching another episode of Underground Growers. I'm your man, Iceberg Stem. I'm not the type of person to come in here and take off all my ugly fan leaves just to make the plant look good. I'm going to show you the ups and the downs and the all the way arounds of growth, of growth of these plants. So not going to hide anything, sugar coat, candy coat, anything for you. Keep it all the way it is. Show you how to fix the problems. If there are any problems that occur with my plants that may occur with yours, Gonna show you those defaults and show you how to fix them. So this is how they're looking after I treated the soil and the plants with the mammoth. And I will be coming with another updated video of how they're looking. Cause I, I do want to get all the problems out the way before I flip them into flowers. So uh, even though they're four weeks now and I said I want to flip them into flower after one month, I could flip them now, but I'm not, I wanna make sure there's no problems and, there had, and they had time to bounce back from that being treated with mammoth and being messed up with those strips and spider mice. So I'm giving them just enough time to bounce back before I flip them in the flower. 
So stay tuned for the next video. Like I said, like, subscribe, and I'll keep you posted on this growth. Thank you for watching and peace.